Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com. In this video, I'm doing a review of Proformance Hockey Wax. So this wax is designed specifically for hockey, which means it's gonna remain tacky and sticky even at cold temperatures. Uh, so you might notice with some other waxes, you're gonna put it on your tape and it's gonna feel tacky and sticky. But once you get out there the second or third period, it'll kind of freeze up and get hard. And I've noticed that with other waxes, which is kind of why I don't use wax, uh, because it's designed for warmer temperatures, but once you get out there on the ice, it's really hard and it kind of flakes off and you lose that extra control. So the Proformance Wax is designed for cooled temperatures. You can put it on your tape and it's gonna stay nice and sticky. What I'm gonna do in the video is first give you a look at the product to show you what they offer. Uh, then I'm gonna show you my hockey sticks because I've been using this for a few weeks during games. And I'll show you what the uh, tape looks like after some use. Uh, then I'm actually gonna reapply it. So I'll show you the uh, two-part process because it's actually different than just putting on regular hockey wax. So I'll show you how you put the stuff on. I'll do that really quick and I'm gonna take it out on the ice, test it out, give you guys a few on-ice shots and then give you my overall opinion on Proformance hockey wax. These are all the waxes that Proformance currently has. So at the front we have the starter pack. So you can get every single wax they make for $6.40. It's sort of like a small sample size. And then if you like those, then you can get the full product here. So these ones sell for $9.99. Uh, so just to give you a quick idea, uh, this one is the base. So you actually have to put that one on first. And then after you put that on, so this sticks to the tape, then you put on one of these two. So this is Pro Control, uh, gives you a little bit extra tackiness. This is Mac control to give you lots of extra tackiness. And then we have the goalie grip, so you can put it on your stick to get it some uh, grippiness where you want it. And then we just have the full size ones here. All right, let's take a look at my hockey sticks and see how this stuff has held up so far. So uh, this one I've used for a few games. Uh, you can still see there's lots of wax on there. It hasn't flaked off and it's really sort of set in now. So it seems like uh, after you use it for a few games, it actually sticks more to the uh, tape than when you first put it on. And then the next one, I've used this one for probably like five or six games, and there's still wax on there. And you can even see where all the uh, stick handling and shooting has happened right there, because it's turning black. But there's still wax in there, and there's even wax on the toe. So I put a little extra there just for some extra control for toe drags and stuff like that. So still holding up nicely. Uh, I could still use these for a few more games, uh, but I'm gonna take all this tape off and just show you how this stuff goes on. Got a fresh tape job here. I'll just show you how this stuff goes on. So start with the actual product. Uh, this unscrews, seems like pretty good packaging, good container. Uh, it's got the lipstick thing here. This is 90 grams of wax, so it's a pretty fair size amount, and it just screws up, so I'm not gonna screw up too much of it. Uh, and this is the base. So I'll put it on here on the back, and then I'll give you a close-up of the front. Uh, basically what you wanna do is go with the grain of the tape, so you don't roll this up. And this uh, base layer, it sticks to anything. So you can put it on tape, you can put it on the actual hockey stick part, so on like the toe and it's designed to help the other wax adhere. So it'll keep your wax from flaking off. Uh, so if you notice with other hockey waxes, they flake off or they freeze up and then come off and they don't last very long. This stuff is supposed to prevent that from happening. So it's supposed to last a lot longer and give you that tacky control for a lot longer. So this is just the first layer. Give you a close up look on the other side. So I just did a uh, standard tape job on this stick, nothing fancy. Uh, if you guys want a video on how to tape a hockey stick, I have uh, one for the blade and then one for the knob as well. If you guys want to check that out. So if you want to get really picky, you can try to get in all these little uh, nidges or ridges uh, if you want. I don't really get too picky about it. I kind of just put it right over the top. And you put a little bit on the toe as, as well if you want a little extra control for toe drags and stuff. So there we have the, uh, the base is put on. Now you want to grab either max control or pro control. So I'm gonna use pro, pro control because it just gives it a little extra tackiness. So this actually goes on top of the base and it's so you can sort of customize how much grip you want. And what happens is this grips to the tape and this grips to the wax on top. And it kind of gives you like a dual layer uh, grippiness on your stick. So actually it also smells really good. Uh, that's one thing that I noticed, it smells awesome. I'm gonna put this on. Uh, it's a fair amount, I guess. I'm kind of laying it on there. I'll put some on the back as well. All right, new tape job, new wax job. I think I put a little more on than I normally would, uh, but whatever, I'm gonna throw on my gear. Let's get out there and rip some jobs.
use. And you can see there is some snow build up there, but not too much. And that's easy to knock off with your thumb. Uh, and this is just showing that it's still tacky and sort of sticky after you hit the snow off. So after this, I had a game and I just put more wax on the bottom and I noticed that it really helped uh, keep it up. So just put a little extra wax on the bottom of the stick. And this is just showing how much snow builds up uh, with wax versus without wax. So uh, just trying to knock as much off as I can. You can see the one without wax is lots of snow and the other one with, with wax, uh, barely any. Just in the ridges is where it mostly builds up. All right, that was a pretty good skate. So I'm just gonna give you my overall opinion on the Proformance wax now. So you guys probably uh, saw that without the wax, you get a lot more snow buildup. And when you're stick handling, the puck actually drives the snow sort of into the tape and freezes it all in there. So you get sort of like an ice buildup. So with the Proformance wax, I noticed that you still get a bit of snow buildup on there. But it's a lot easier you just knock it off with your thumb, which I try to do uh, with my blade every time I go to the bench anyways. So you're gonna get, not going to get as much snow buildup. And the thing I really noticed playing with it is that you notice the most performance during the second and third period when without tape, you're going to get that snow build up and that ice. Uh, but with the performance wax, that's when you'll see the biggest difference is second and third period when you don't have as much ice and snow built on there. And it's still a little bit tacky, like you can feel it even now. Uh, the one thing that I did uh, notice with this is that most of the snow builds up in the ridges where I didn't really get the wax. But it seems like after a few games, it kind of works itself all throughout the tape. Uh, that's the other cool thing is that with regular wax, I never really used it uh, because when I did, like I tried it out, it seemed like it would freeze up and chip off and you got to put more on. And I didn't really notice a huge difference in my game using it versus not using it, so I never really bothered with it. But with this stuff, uh, the performance wax, you know, you put it on there and you can just leave it on there and it doesn't really seem like you need to reapply it. So I, I really like that because it's less of a fuss. You know, you tape up your stip, stick, put on the base layer, put on the wax that you want and then you're just done. And it just gives you a little bit of extra performance throughout the entire game. So I do like the product. I think it's worth trying. If you like wax, try the Proformance Wax. If you've never used uh, wax before, uh, you know, give it a shot and see how you like it. If you guys want to try the Proformance Wax, you can get the uh, base layer and then the wax of your choice. These are $9.99 each, or you can just pick up a starter pack. It's $6.40, you get every single one, and you also get the uh, grip that you can put on the shaft of your stick. So it's, it's worth giving a shot. Uh, I have the, I'll have the link in the video description, and then they're also advertising on my website, so if you're ever over at howtohockey.com, there'll be an ad in the sidebar, you can click on that as well. So uh, that's my review. Tell me what you guys think about waxing your stick. If you ever tried Proformance Wax, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And thanks a lot for watching the video. See you in the next one.